How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since you've seen me. I've been kind of caught up with work quite a bit lately. Um, that's changing so I will update you guys probably within the next couple of weeks of what's going on with me and work because that will kind of affect me and this channel in good ways and in a couple bad. Um, Thanksgiving, I was out in Arizona for Thanksgiving and it was kind of a rush trip so I didn't have a lot of time to film anything too much while I was out there. I did get some film that you'll see at the end of this video and some others but nothing too crazy. So I'm sorry I wasn't around. There's a lot of new people here from Yankees Channel. Thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Um, today I will be going over the Black Arch Holsters uh, Ace Dry Matrix Holster. It's what I've started to use as my everyday carry holster and I absolutely love it. It's inside the waistband and it feels like you're wearing a big wallet. Um, awesome company. They have three to four day turnaround on making your holster. So they don't have them in stock, they'll make whatever you want and have it out to you within three or four days. And I think that was pretty cool, it was really fast. And the holster's super comfortable. I mean, it really feels like I'm wearing a, a large wallet in my back pocket. I'm having it at my four o'clock all the time. So you'll see, I mean, no undershirt or anything. And I mean, it's on, I'm using my SIG 229. I mean, it's a full steel gun, and it's a 357 SIG. I have a tungsten guide rod in it, so I mean, it's a brick. And it goes in nice and easy, and it's super comfortable. So, I mean, pretty much, I can imagine any pistol you have, they would be a, a good inside the waistband holster, because, I mean, mine's heavy, so if you have a Glock or anything that's light, M&Ps, whatever, it would be a really, really good holster for inside the waistband. So... I'm gonna stop talking now. We'll take a look, get up close, take a look, and see how it's put together and how they make it. All right, so here it is. You'll notice I did go with the black and gray multicam and the gray mesh metal clips. You'll see the material on the back is that um, what they call their dry matrix. It's like a meshy, um, slightly padded material. Not slightly padded, quite padded actually. Um, lined with leather on the outside and I mean the quality of this holster is amazing it's a hybrid holster kydex on the outside leather all the way down on the inside and then this where it contacts your body you can switch the cant of it with the position of the screws on the belt and you know, I'm just blown away by it I wasn't a big fan of inside the waistband all the time, um, and so I switched over to the Vetter holster, which I liked a lot, and then I saw this and decided to give it a try online, um, somewhere from Instagram, and I'm glad I did, because I can't see how anything can be more comfortable inside the waistband than this. Um, I love Kydex for the way everything clicks in and out, and I really find that having a hybrid is a lot more comfortable than just having Kydex itself. So, and then one thing to say about um, Black Arch holsters, the guys that make these, their uh, customer service is amazing. When I was out in Arizona visiting uh, mom for Thanksgiving, one of these backed itself out and fell out while I was carrying it because I was adjusting them before. Uh, side note. I suggest using blue Loctite on your screws for Kydex because I've had my Vetter come loose too and it's in the instructions usually to Loctite whatever screws you need to adjust or move around uh, so do that but they had the customer service from these guys they had a set of hardware out to me the next day in the mail so I mean they didn't even ask a question about it ask me for anything they just said so, so we're sorry you know and it's on the way and it wasn't even probably their fault it was me messing with it and not tightening it up. So kudos to those guys. None of this is a paid advertisement. There's a lot of information about these that you can look up on their website. About the, They have tons of models and tons of different Kydex and everything else, so give it a look. It wasn't too bad. I think it was still under 100 bucks for all the options that I had shipped. So definitely go take a, take a look at these guys. The holsters are amazing. Real quick. Here's the little hardware pack they sent me. I used some of the stuff out of it already. Um, their card, 
I don't know if this will work, but I'm more than happy to give them business because they're awesome. So there's a discount code that they sent me. You guys can use it. I guess it expires on the 17th. So if anybody sees this, go ahead and try it. But thanks again, guys, for t checking this out. And back to me. All right, everybody, thanks again for joining me today. If you're not following me already, take a look at my Instagram. It's the same name, The Falling Hammer. And as always, in the end, I'm going to leave you with the same message. If you're looking for a new animal, please adopt and check out your local shelters. You can make a difference. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.